Hello everybody and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Eleftheria and I'm reviewing courses. Today I took the opportunity to review a course I did last year, but you can enroll in a couple of days, in uh, 20th of August specifically, so I think that it's the right time to do this review. The course is provided by the Coursera and the Georgia Institute of Technology and it's called Introduction to User Experience Design. It is taught by Dr. Rosa Riquiera and if you click on her name you can uh, learn more information about her and I'm sorry if I pronunciated the name in a wrong way. The level is beginner and you have to commit five weeks, one or two hours per week. The language is English, uh, the instructor speaks perfectly good English, so you won't have any problem with this. And also Coursera provides a transcript and some subtitles, so again you will have no problem. Uh, in how to pass, pass all graded assignments to complete the course, and it has some quizzes as we are going to see later, and you can pass them quite easily. The user ratings are 4.4 and I think that I'm going to agree with this rating because the course overall is very good and you will learn a lot of things. As for the syllabus, you have your five weeks. So if you click and you go inside the course, you will see your five weeks. Because I have already completed them, they are green and they are in this way, but later I'm going to show you how it will look like for you if you are logged out or if you haven't enrolled. I'm going to click in the first week and here you can see a welcome message with a reading if it's done or not and then an overview of, you, of what you have to do this week. In the right part you will see this required and currently it says 24 minutes. It's not exactly 24 minutes. In this category it, it is included the reading that you have to do, the videos that you have to watch and the quiz. So at first I thought that only the quiz will took me like will take me about 24 minutes, but that's not quite the case. If you want you can watch the videos and this is how they look. One thing that I like about Coursera as I have already mentioned is that they provide the transcript. So you can have the lecture video, you can download it, you can have the subtitles or the transcript and everything is in English. If you want, you can also volunteer and help them translate everything again in English and maybe even in your language. It's very easy to go to the next one, which is the general resources. So this won't be a video, it will be some resources and I would advise you to take a look at them as it will be easier to continue with the course. And in the end, you have the quiz. By clicking on next, you will go to the next week. But now for me, it says that this course has ended and assignments may not be resubmitted. This is because I have already completed this course. Uh, I'm going to show you another thing, which is the FAQs and it has questions like when will I have access to the lectures and the assessments? Uh, what if I need additional time to complete the courses? Is financially aid available? So about the financial thing, it is free to watch the video, but if you want to take a certification, then you will have to pay some money. If you haven't logged in already or if you haven't enrolled, then you should do it probably by the end of the 29th or 20th of August, as it, this course will start again in 20th of August. All in all, I think that it is a great course. I would suggest you to take it if you are a beginner. They will provide you with some information that I haven't really found in any other tutorial. So it's a great course, yeah. I will leave in the description box the link for this course as well as some other um, links from other courses that are in the same category. Thank you very much for watching, have an amazing day and if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one!